Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams, and we are privileged today to be joined on the summit by Caden Boren, a freshman from Cameron. And Caden, you make the news this past week because of what you did at bat on the diamond there. You hit two grand slams in the same game. Cameron comes away with a 14-2 victory in a doubleheader, game one of that doubleheader against Western New Mexico. But the headline was all about what you did when you went up to bat. Just first off, let's start right there. Congratulations on pulling off such an amazing feat. Thank you. It sounded like it was something pretty impressive, of course, obviously, when you hit two grand slams in one game. that That's a big deal. Now, that's something that you're not going to get the opportunity to do at just any old at bat. I mean, it has to be a certain set of circumstances that you're going to go up there and face. So take us through both of those. Let's start with the first one. You go up to bat, feeling good. You look out there, obviously see the bases loaded. And, and what are you thinking? Well, at first I was just like, okay, I need to do my job. I got to get on base, help my team out teammates out just do what I can do to help them and I wasn't even thinking about hitting a grand slam or nothing like that so I just went up there cleared my mind and just let everything do its job and apparently it did just that now that's some something that's not necessarily out of the ordinary I'm sure you've had opportunities to do that in the past mm -hmm. you had a, a great career at Choctaw High School and and so do you get up there again though and you're looking at the same scenario did it cross your mind, hey, I might be able to do this twice? Well, at first I was just like, dang, I'm in the same position that I was <laughs> last time. I didn't even think about it. And I was like, okay, the chances of this happening twice are kind of slim, but let's go ahead and try. So I just went up there, had fun, and it happened. All right, let me, let me ask you, did you lower your shoulder just a little bit more that second time <laughs> and try to get it out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Caden, that that is such an amazing feat. And you know, only 10 players in Division II history have done that prior to what you did this past weekend. So you're in very good company. And your name now is forever written in the NCAA record books. Talk about what something like that means. Well, at first, I had no clue about it. I wasn't even thinking about it. And then somebody came up to me after the game and told me and I was just like, dang, that's so amazing. Like I never even knew something like that existed. So like, I was just so happy and proud of myself, really. I'm proud of my team for giving me the opportunity. And you know, that that is, that's something that I appreciate you giving them credit for that because they have to get on base too. I mean, it's not something mm -hmm. that's just a, a solo effort. And so you had that opportunity twice. We are here on the summit with Caden Boren here on the Midwest Sportsnet YouTube channel, where we talk about uh, the Midwest and small college sports and more. And we're not afraid to talk about Bruno every now and again as well. We're here with Caden Boren, and I just wanted to uh, to say, hey, listen, where you are right now in the season, you are taking it out of the park with frequency now as the season has gone on. You've had uh, a stretch now in the last six games where you've had six home runs in the most recent six games, 12 home runs for the season. What's it been for you like of late? Um, at first I was just like getting, I was nervous at first coming in as a freshman playing and then I had to like find my feet, get where I was going and get comfortable. And I think now that I'm comfortable, I can provide more for my team. All right. Well, you're going to have the opportunity now. The team is 25 and 17 overall, 13 and 11 in Lone Star Conference play. I talked about uh, a great career at Choctaw High School and, and I know that you're no stranger to making it into the playoffs, but uh, you're looking for an opportunity now to get into the postseason tournament, the Lone Star Conference. The magic number's down to one, mm -hmm. but six games left to play. Now, here's the, the good news is you come in on a six-game winning streak. You have six games left. They're against three of the top four team in, teams in the conference. Uh, you're going to be at Commerce and then at UT Tyler and then close out the season at home against Oklahoma Christian. Talk about closing out the schedule and, and trying to push into the conference tournament. <laughs> Well, we're just going to go out there, have fun, do what we need to do to get there, and put everything out on the field, leave everything out there, do the best we can. Well, good luck to you, and, and again, congratulations on uh, a fantastic weekend and the weekend gone by. Again, wins, but getting those two grand slams, and we're going to continue following you and the Aggies throughout the remainder of the season. But Caden Boren, thank you very much for taking time with us today. And again, congratulations on, on what uh, a great accomplishment you had and your team. Thank you.